It's your boy Daryl checking in with Taylor TV. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. It was a boy that drove a, a newer Charger. It was like a 2017 Dodge Charger. Had the uh, white paint, all black rims. <clears throat> so I fucked with bro when he was working over there with us, you feel me? And then he got fired a couple weeks later. Shit. And when around the time he worked, when he did get fired, we, I had a street with bro on Snapchat. Why did, why did he get fired? I don't even know. Okay. So you had a street with him on Snapchat? Yeah. So... Couple weeks later, we still had the street going and shit. Cause I I seen him the videos of me smoking weed or whatever. Cause he liked to get high too. And that was my partner at work. So that's how I, I did my streets with him. Okay. And then one day he come at me with this uh money flip shit, and he posting how we flipping money to the store. Like a like one like the um, pyramid scheme that people be doing on Snap. It wasn't like a pyramid scheme, but they were saying like you can have any am amount of money in your bank account. You can have zero dollars, and it can be flipped to this amount, and they'll split right down the middle with you. Okay. How much? How much was it supposed to be? Split it. It's supposed to be flipping my money to five thousand dollars and splitting halfway down. So I. Get twenty five hundred. They get twenty five hundred. So you was gonna get, so you was gonna have zero dollars in your account and then get five thousand. No. <laughs> what I had in my account was more than that. Okay, it was more than five thousand. No. More than zero. Yeah, okay. It was more than zero. <laughs> correct. Correct. So like okay, so you, he so he told you about it, and then you went with it like. You gave me your information? I, I was like, nah, bro, this ain't, ain't no way this legit. He's like, yeah, bro, it's legit, bro. <clears throat> and he showed me how he uh, flipped somebody else's money or whatever. And I'm, I'm going with it, you know, just because it's somebody I know. I feel like I could trust him with some shit like that. Yeah. <clears throat> See if he... To see if he really know how to flip money or not. Mm -hmm. So then he started asking for my online banking information. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Before you finish the uh, video, we uh, please like, subscribe, comment. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers. We're doing a giveaway, $200 giveaway. Like, comment, subscribe. Get your name drawn in the hat. I'm gonna go live. I'm gonna pick the winner. Yeah. So I gave him that. You ain't second guess none of this. Like you weren't thinking to yourself like, man, I shouldn't give him my bank information. Or you was just on some. Or, or was you thinking like, this is my homeboy. I don't think he'll, you know, he'll mess over me. So I'm just gonna see what it, what it do type shit. Yeah, I was on that type shit. Okay, I was okay. saying, cause I feel like I, I could trust yeah, him. Yeah. Okay. Just cause I see him in person and all that. Okay. So you gave me information. But in reality, I never did hang out with this person. <laughs> he was just a work, a work person. Okay. So you gave me your information, and then what? What happened? After that, he's saying that he going to uh, transfer the money to Zell to flip it and all that. <clears throat> so he does that. I don't see anything happening to my bank account right then and there. So he told me to uh, wait till in the morning time. That's when the money will be ready. Okay. So I'm like, all right. Leave my phone alone for a little while. I got high. Go to sleep, wake up for work the next morning, check my phone, get my online banking, check all that. 
when I and when I log into my online banking, my shit say zero dollars. <laughs> <laughs> like I had like five hundred thirty in my savings, and they took all of it. And then it took all my money on my chickens, and I had like twelve hundred eighty dollars in that. They took mm. all that. And left me with like three dollars. So the total of the money they took was like seventeen hundred and eleven dollars. Damn, bro. Yeah. So like, when, like, okay, when you found out that the money was missing, and you like you knew that it was from what he did. So did you call that that person? Like, did you confirm? Him? Yeah, I tried to call the number that they uh, messaged me from. Okay. It was like a text now number, so it wasn't really going through. S- send me such a voicemail and shit. Okay. <clears throat> I kept on trying to text the number, but they wouldn't text back. <laughs> Until like, lunch break. That's when I seen them texting back. They was trying to say it's all good and all that. They got the money, they trying to uh, Flip it and split it down half with me and what not. But they took your money. Yeah. Talking about they finna split it down. Like, what they talking about splitting? Yours? Or they talking about like split? S- splitting the flip. Okay. Okay. But yeah. did you know that they was gonna take your money though? No. So the plan wasn't to use your money to flip. The plan was just to have a bank account to put money in. Like, so, they ain't supposed to take nothing at your bank account. Right. Okay. So, is there any like, like, did you, you filed a police report, then? I mean, all this public knowledge. Yeah. And so, okay. And then they they couldn't do nothing. No, nah, not really, cause I, <clears throat> cause bro, buddy, I wanted to, before I even made the police report, saying that he didn't do it, it was somebody else that had this Snapchat. Oh, so he beat you to it. He beat you to the punch. Yeah. Damn, he's smart, man. Real scammers out here, man. So, did you learn from this situation, though? Yeah. What would you tell like, somebody else that, like, that'll, that'll be in your shoes? Like, what would you tell them about scammers? Like, shit, they fake, they ain't real. Can't trust them with shit. Don't even, don't even give me your information. These shots, seeing I'm up early with you. 